Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse comes from Matthew 5, verses 29 through 30. It reads as follows. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. This is one of those scriptures where you read it and you ask God, do you mean that literally? <laughs> do you really want me to gouge out my eye or, or cut off my hand? Really? Well, yes, sort of. Jesus was radical. I just love him. He was revolutionary. He told us real terms, exactly what we needed to hear, exactly how we needed to hear it. He knows our sinful nature and he knows exactly what we need to hear to get our attention, to help us to live right, bringing glory to his name and living out the purpose and plan he has for us. In the second book of Chronicles, we read that Asa ascends the throne of Judah and goes after God with all his heart and passion. He really goes after God. He removed the detestable idols throughout the land and he restored the altar of the Lord in front of the portico in the Lord's temple. He assembled the people to offer great sacrifices to the Lord. And then he does something that relates to our scripture today. Does he gouge out his eye or cut off his hand? No. Worse, he disposes the queen mother, his grandmother, Maica, from the queen mother position because she has set up an Asherah pole. She has set up a detestable idol. I would say that disposing your own grandmother from the queen mother position for being an idol worshiper is very close to cutting off your hand or gouging out your eye. I'm sure that wasn't fun. What Jesus and Asa are actually showing us here is that when you go after the Lord, when you seek to live for him, to love him, to honor him with your life, when you seek to go after the blessings and the plans that he has for your life, you have to take extreme measures to protect that relationship, to protect your destiny, to protect yourself from falling back into a life of sin. If you have a problem with what you look at, but you really want to please God, get an accountability partner, set up blocking software on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, cancel cable. If you have a spending problem and you like to shop and spend in order to fill a void that you should be going to God to fill that void for, cut up all your credit cards, literally and seriously, get on a budget, make a plan, reprimand yourself for overspending, for spending outside of your budget, put barriers into place to protect yourself from yourself. Now, don't literally cut off your hand or gouge out your eye, but take the extreme measures that you need to take to keep you from falling back into a life of sin or into bad habits that could hinder your walk with God. When I first became a Christian, I remember I had to get rid of all but like two friends. My walk with God is too important. Your walk with God is too important. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the reminder that Lord, nothing is worth our relationship. Nothing or no one is worth pulling us away from you, God. And sometimes we, in our own bad habits or in our history, just sort of forget that, Lord. But we want your help. We want to go after you with tenacity, God. We want to go after you because you are good and you are worthy and you have been so good to us. So if there is anything, Lord, that would hinder our relationship with you, I pray that you would help us to cut it off, Lord. Help us to remove it. Help us to get it out of our lives, Lord. Help us to refill it with good, godly things, good, godly people, Lord, that would bring you glory and grow us in our walks with you. Help us not to take for granted, Lord, that we are stronger than that hindrance, Lord, than our history, Lord. We aren't, God. Help us to realistically look at that thing in the face and say it has to go and then give us the strength to do so. We thank you, God. We honor you. We want to honor you in this area and we give you the glory, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please subscribe to my channel. I would love having you. And you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Know that God loves you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.